Hi guys, so I'm making a video today on a very simple, basic, like old school look. Um, it's going to be so, so easy. Um, so we're basically just starting off, I already have my foundation of course. I used the uh, Make Sense Regular Foundation today in Beige Chiffon. We're putting a little bit of yellow NYX under here. And I'm going to show you guys a couple new things. Uh, I'm going to show you the Lip Sense Lip Liner. And then I'm also going to show you some just regular black eyeliner. That's going to be it. No shimmer, no nothing. This is going to be like a five minute just do something and, and go type of a look, okay? Stay tuned. Okay, so we're going to do a little bit of contour on the face real quick so we don't look round. We're going to get it all, all contoured up. Using bronze blush scents for that. Right up under your cheekbone. Second verse, same as the first. Starting to get somewhere. Done with that. Next we're going to do some blush and I am going to use Cherry by itself today just to pop some of that color and I'm going to try to make it a round type of a color and you're only going to use a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. I'm going to use a little dot for one side and a little dot for the other side. Some vampire bites there. Almost like a Japanese type type look. Okay, then we are going to use our pearlizer for some highlight. One pump. I love this stuff because it's liquid and even though some of the powder kits are just simply amazing, this being liquid really kind of holds up the true test of the long day. Um, it doesn't start looking powdery after a while and some of the powders, even the best ones, kind of start to deteriorate. But this one always is looking, going strong. So even if you want a more severe highlight, you can always put this underneath and be rest assured that it will just look flawless. And I think we might even do some of that at the very end. Um, so for this look, I'm not going to blend too much because I want to kind of keep that, um, but just a little. Kind of want to keep that line. Okay. So we're going to throw on some eyebrows real quick. Garnet. I think Garnet's becoming like my favorite eyebrow.
But you know, it's it's fun to like match your eyebrows to your hair color too. So I think it's a pretty good representation of some of the deeper reds and mahoganies I have in my hair. And if you get the right brush, you can just put it on in like one swipe and it'll be the perfect shape. I like this brush. Although sometimes one side is easier than the other. We all know that from painting our nails, right? Okay, and then if you just want to keep it real clean, you just add a little bit where you need to. Perfect brows. Shadow Sense you can literally just use on anything. So it's amazing. $22. You can buy it directly from me. If you're not already in my Facebook Glam group, then you need to find me on Facebook, Empress of Glam for Lip Sense. And we are going to get right into the lip liner. Okay, so of course you all know clean, dry lips when you apply your lip scents. And you know what? We're gonna do bright motherfucking red. Also known as blue red. Um, this lip liner I have is from Senegens. It's called Liner Sense. Um, you guys were wanting to know more about this. Um, do I feel that it's completely necessary? No, I don't. However, um, some of you may find that it's easy to use. Um, I normally just line with the lipstick. Uh, this comes in five colors. This was the one that was in stock, so this is the one I grabbed. And it's it has like a like a little brush. So I'm gonna try to do this in my phone. My mirror is right there, so I'm gonna have to look in the mirror. I think this will work well for those of you who like to overline a bit. So I'm going to do half and then I'm going to just use the regular lipstick to line. I might as well just do it all. So it does give you like a thinner line to work with when you do it like this.
I'm going to pause and do this in the mirror because I have really bad eyes. Okay. So I went over it about three times. Just like you would the lipstick. Now we're going to pop on our blue-red. Christina Aguilera's favorite. Gorgeous. We're going to chase this with a matte gloss. Matte gloss with blue red, killer. Now let me show you this eye stuff I'm gonna do. Okay, we were at Day Away for Posh and my friend Michelle gave me these stencils. Um, I don't normally do stencils, but I'm gonna try them to show you guys what they are. And we're just gonna do, that's it, just, li just liner. So let's see here. Let me look in my mirror and get these on. Okay, I did have a hard time getting them on. I'm not quite sure if I got them completely even, but I sure tried. And we are going to use Onyx Shadow Sense. So let's do it.
Okay, I just hope these come out even. Let's see, I'll let it dry for just a minute. Okay, let's see how we did. I'd say it's pretty good. Um, probably the shape is probably a little better than I could have just done myself. However, I do feel like it needs some touching up. Um, so we're going to get our tattoo liner. Okay. Cool. Um, uh, pull it. Okay, so I'm going to put some mascara on and come back for the finished look. Okay, we used Feline today. This is great mascara. Um, really good drugstore mascara. I put on about two and a half coats. And... I'm resisting the urge to like put shimmer up in here because I just want to do a basic um, I want it to be a striking look um, I think this calls for a nose ring and I'm also thinking I need waterline liner so we'll be back if you're wondering where the baby is he's downstairs with my 12 year old who decided to sleep in and be late to school, so this is his punishment never to do it again. Anyway, here's my waterline liner. Big difference, right? Okay, here's the completed look. I'm going to wear a hat today, but my kitty cat's sitting in front of my drawer and I don't want to bother him. So, thanks for watching.